Hi everyone. I'm so glad you're joining us. This is Annette from MoneySmartFamily.com and we are going to talk about inventorying and organizing a freezer. Money Smart Family. Now as you can see, I have a big old chest freezer. And I know it's down to Steve and I, but the kids are over here all the time and the grandbabies, and we do a lot of hosting. So things have changed over time as to what we store, but we still have a good freezer full of food. And we're gonna go through that tonight. And a freezer is one of those tools that will actually earn you money in the long run. Because when you see things that are on sale, you can capture those deals store them safely away in your freezer and you will be eating the lowest cost food not the lowest quality but the lowest cost for months at a time there was a time we found chicken legs for 19 cents a pound we bought 60 pounds of them into the freezer they went um berries right now we've had an amazing summer with cherries and we have been hitting them as we've watched a tv show at night before turning in and so uh we have wonderful cherries a good stock of cherries in the freezer and we're going to have um, cherry pie for Thanksgiving and maybe even a cherry cobbler at Christmas time. It's just amazing. So, uh, you know, when, when frozen vegetables go on sale, you can stock up on them. Even though we eat lots of fresh, we also have frozen. I prefer a chest freezer over an upright because a chest freezer is a not a frost free freezer. When you have a frost free freezer like in an upright, oftentimes um, the air is circulating and it dries out whatever you put in there. So the frost-free freezer, I defrost once a year and the stuff will last for months. It's just amazing. And the other thing I like about the chest freezer is um, hot air rises, cool air falls. And so when you have to open the door, it, the cold air is still stays inside. When we do our menu planning, what I do is I take stock of what's in my pantry and I take stock of what's in my freezer and I start there planning my menu of what I already have. And usually when we're going to the grocery store, there's very little we actually need to buy. I mean, obviously lots of fresh um, produce, so fruits and veggies, but, and, and your, you know, some of your dairy, like your milk, but there's very little that you would need to buy you know, for this week, because you have a good stock of what's here. So, so, so let's kind of recap what most people do and then how it's different. Okay. So most people, they'll, they'll plan a menu and, and then, um, you know, it really won't be based on what they have in the house. They'll just plan a menu based on what they'd like to eat. And or, then they'll go to the store and buy all that stuff. And a lot of that stuff won't be on sale. It's a step better than eating out fast food for every meal or eating out restaurants many times each week. But if you can start learning what the sales cycles are, you'll know what to stock up on when you know the sales cycles. So the difference between what most people right. do is they look at the ads right. or they just go shopping for what they want. When you plan your menu, right. where do you go? Right. Most people just go to the store, get what they want, which is good. But to go in a black belt notch higher would be to shop from your freezer. So let's let's go through what I've got because it is absolutely amazing. And I have a freezer inventory sheet. Um, we used to just do it all by hand, but Steve created it. I'm like, it would be really nice, honey, if you could create one. So he has created one. And if you go to moneysmartfamily.com slash grocery tips, is Landing it or just page. Gros the grocery tips landing page, a free copy. All you have to do is click on it and it's there. And you'll see all the different grocery categories where we have tips for saving money. It's a wonderful page. Okay. So as you can see, it's very colorful in here. And my overall strategy of organizing the freezer is to use colored canvas bags with a paper bag inside to give it a little extra body. And I pick themes. So the frozen vegetables are in green bags and the berries are in red bags and the bread is in a cream colored bag and the lunch meat is in a white and pink bag. So here's the bread bag and it has uh, loads of rye bread that I've gotten on sale to make Reuben sandwiches. It has bagels, English muffins, um, sometimes loaves of bread. And you store the bread, kind of double bag it so yes. that it, it keeps frost from right. forming. Here's, here's the lunch meat. 
That's in a pinkish white bag. Here are the veggies. They're in a green bag. <laughs> and I've gotten these at garage sales for like 10 cents, all the different colors. Um, okay, cheese is also in a cream color bag. I hope you can see that. Um, and then meat is in, I, all my meats are in blue bags. And I have one bag for chicken, one bag for beef, one bag for pork, uh, one bag for hot dogs and bacon. Uh, another bag I have in here has Italian sausages and breakfast sausages. Um, so basically the way you, I give up a little bit of space in my freezer in order to keep things organized because I'm kind of short. So if I didn't use the bag system of different colored bags to organize stuff and I, and everything was just thrown into the freezer, I would never be able to get to the bottom. So by segmenting all the food into smaller bags, I can reach the bottom of the freezer really well mm -hmm. because it's, it's only as deep as that bottom mm -hmm. bag. Uh, let me, let me show them something. So here are some berries. That is cherries and blueberries, which were not a good price out here this year. Here's some blackberries, strawberries. Did you know you could freeze strawberries? They are, um, basically you cut them in half, put them on a cookie sheet and freeze them and then put them in a bag. Did you know you can freeze pineapple? So if you can't eat them up, you can always cut them up and freeze them. And we do the same thing with the pineapple. We put it on the bag or on the, on the tray on the cookie sheet. and then we, we let it freeze. Right. The ones the that we put on the cookie sheets are strawberries, pineapple, and raspberries because those three fruits will all clump together and be very difficult to take apart if you just throw them in a bag all at once. Things like blueberries, cherries, and blackberries, you can throw them in a bag and they will be easy to pull apart when you need to pull them apart. So here's a berry bag. Okay. Okay. So uh, basically I've got the, there's a little step in the freezer and that's where I have our two berry bags. I showed you the one berry bag. And then I have the bread bag. And what's interesting is down below the vegetables and the bread, I'll see if I can show you. I'm going to pull them out. But I put milk into small jars because it was cheaper. Gosh, I was at my favorite store, store Smart and Final, and they had gallons of milk for 99 cents. Um, and I was like, I can't pass up. So I got two of them. But Steve was like, we don't need a lot of that. I'm like, I know. It's just the two of us. But I put it into smaller containers, glass jars, and then Steve has a box in the bottom of the freezer. But in that box are cardboard dividers. And it's really cool. So I can fill the jars with the milk and put them down here in the box. And then when I need one, I just pull it out. And it's smaller quantities so it doesn't go bad. This is how, this is the diagram. And basically stacking bags, putting the heavier things and things that we don't use as often on the bottom right so turkeys roasts hams can they see that closer, 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 closer. so it's this... the same diagram that i just put on the screen but the point is okay. it's in the, the chapter on tools that really save you money and we posted the article that says that our freezer no this is stocking up and organizing oh, stocking up and organizing stocking up and organizing we posted an article that talks about how much we expect the freezer will save you in a year right and it's close to two thousand dollars. yes it is it's it's crazy that's what inventorying your freezer is all about that's why i made that soup today because i thought oh my d my goodness i have two bags of carcasses and bones it's time to make soup okay so we're going to inventory so Here's what we do. We, we divide it up into categories. So we've got beef, lamb, chicken, turkey, okay. pork, dairy, cheese, frozen veggies. This may bread. get a little bit boring, but I'm going to call out some things and okay. Steve's going to mark them off. Okay, strawberries one. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. It could be got a, it. a pineapple one. Oh, we forgot strawberries. We do tally marks. So cherries one, cherries two, blueberries. One. Uh, blackberries. One. Okay, what else is down here? More blueberries. I should combine those. Okay, more blackberries. I think it sounds like a fruit cobbler to me. Yeah, it well, was. Another cherry. You keep it up with me. Mm -hmm. All right. Over here is another cherry. Oh, we've got so many cherries. And then add like four more cherries. 
Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the meat because that's where I need some help. So the meat is, is there's big stuff in the meat. We're not going to get to write it all down. But what I, I want to show them the pictures of the turkeys in, in the bottom. Okay, so so we need to bring the camera over. Yeah. So we've got pork. I've been waiting for the weather to cool off because when the weather cools off, I am going to cook some of the wonderful stuff that's in this um in this freezer that i haven't been able to cook over the summer months we've been doing mostly grilling crock pot cooking but here's a big pork shoulder roast and i i usually buy this anywhere from 49 to 79 cents a pound and this is absolutely delicious now that's pork picnic and that's a little right. fatty sometimes we buy the cushion meat and right. that is super lean right and in this bag here <laughs> it's a green bag for the fall I don't ask me why I picked it but these are cranberries from okay. last year they freeze fabulously fresh cranberries do and my kids love cranberry sauce I have this amazing cranberry sauce that's also on our website for fresh cranberry sauce you you use a food processor and you you know you pulverize it and then you mix it with um, shredded apples. So that's on sugar. the moneysmartfamily.com slash recipes. Yes. And then that's the fruits. The fruit page. Yeah. Yes. And it's the fresh cranberry sauce. Okay. Um, so what so else do you have down there? Can you show the turkeys? Uh, the turkeys are right back here. I have some hams. Now let's, let's talk about the turkeys because somebody asked a question about how many turkeys we bought. And okay. this last year, we didn't buy a lot. Um, when the kids were all living at home, oh my gosh, I bought at least nine turkeys. And I cooked one every month from like September through June, seriously. Um, and then I would use the cooked meat and mix it because turkey meat is interchangeable with chicken meat. So some of our recipes like um, uh, chicken cashew and lemon broccoli casserole with the chicken, um, gosh there's so many on if you look on our website under our recipe section for chicken there you know you can use the turkey in place of those recipes you know nacho chicken chicken enchiladas you can use turkey for all that okay so right now i've got three turkeys in my freezer so i am probably going to start cooking one in october or maybe the end of september and then one in october and then one for thanksgiving okay, and okay so right now three, three turkeys, turkeys three turkeys and then um we've got uh one two three hams, three hams. we have a turducken that somebody gave us it's crazy people give us food all the time because they know we won't waste it we have one two three uh pork roasts okay and then this is a bag of ice that somebody brought to an event and it's it's still here. We they brought two and we used one. Oh, you um, got ribs. I've got a slab of ribs which we're gonna use in September. I've got um, chuck. Okay, that's I've, got, I've got a chuck roast that we're gonna make into a pot roast. Okay. So I, you can see how it's coming along, and we just put hash marks, and then you can we just uh, we'll know how much we have, and then she can plan a menu based on. She knows she has a roast. She knows she has three hams, so she may make a recipe with one of them. She may make a pork roast, uh, may throw the turducken in, and we'll save the ribs for a special event. Okay, I'm going to load these back in. So, you know, if, if you have an upright freezer, then maybe you don't want to use the colored bags. Maybe what you want to do instead is use boxes. So you give up a little bit of space, but the amount of organization you have as a result of that is so worth the space that you give up so thank you for joining us it was wonderful to have you so thank you for joining us it was wonderful to have you we'll thanks go... for all the thumbs up and yes loves and thank shares. you for all the love the shares thank you you guys are all awesome and um we'll see you next time so this is annette economides from moneysmartfamily.com ending her facebook live show for tonight Bye-bye. Good night. Make sure you check the show notes for links to all of the resources that we mentioned in this video. And please subscribe to our channel and watch these videos next.